So remember how I said in my last video that it was gloomy and cold and rainy? Well it was, but now it feels like summer again and it is 80 degrees, it's gonna be even hotter today. It officially feels like summer outside. I am very warm even just sitting here and that's why we're gonna start talking about some summer products because I love Green Beauty. I think there are some stellar products. However, most of the products that I love are cream products and I need to find something that is gonna transition well into summer because if you guys have ever worn like a full face of cream product, and you sit out in the sun, by the end of the day, you look like one of those scary clowns where it's like everything's dripping off your face and you just have like big run marks. So we need to find some things that are gonna work for summer. That's basically what I'm saying. But everyone, welcome to my channel. I know I just jumped right in there, but that's because we're gonna be doing a fun video today. It's gonna be sort of like uh, first impressions, try with me, demo, um, and then I'm gonna check in throughout the day and let you know how the product's working. So I'm gonna be honest, this actually isn't my product. Product. I am borrowing it from my sister because I sort of maybe convinced her to get it. She was shopping for Green Beauty and I had said that I heard great things about this product, which is true, and that she should try it. And so thankfully she did, she ordered it and then she was sweet enough to actually let me film this video today and use it and try it out. And then if I absolutely love it, I'll probably splurge and actually get it. But I feel like the suspense is probably killing everyone right now, or is it just me? I'm just getting really excited. But it is a brand that I have never talked about on this channel before, or maybe I mentioned it, but I've never like reviewed it. I've never featured any products from it. You'll notice that I have sort of a full face of makeup on. In fact, it's a full face of cream products. So we're really putting this product to the test because it is a setting powder. Okay, I just had to look up how to pronounce it because I knew I was gonna butcher it. But it is the Kier Weiss setting powder, and I'm so excited. Kira Weiss has just the most gorgeous packaging. You guys know how much I love packaging, how much I value nice packaging, and on top of that, this packaging is very much sustainable. You can refill the cartridges instead of just having to purchase a whole new product. And I looked it up, and so the price of this setting powder is $58, but if you're buying the refill, it's $36. So that's about $22 for just packaging, so you're paying a hefty price for it. However, it's absolutely gorgeous and let's just hop in so I can show you guys this product. Like I said, I have a full face of makeup on. The product itself comes in this beautiful, it looks like a faux leather case. So like I said, it's called Kier Weiss Pressed Powder. It retails for $58. The ingredients are listed on the back. They're very simple. It's a translucent powder that claims to be good for all skin tones, although I did look on their website and watched a little video about it and it did say if you have a deeper skin tone to apply less. So my sense of it is, is that it's probably better for lighter skin tones and if you want just a sort of very light setting powder and not something that you're gonna bake with or anything like that it might work for deeper skin tones, but I'd love to know if any of you have a deeper skin tone. Have you tried this powder? Does it work for you? Is it really like totally inclusive? Or does it kind of show up on your skin and make your skin look a little bit ashy? Because I know my mom has a deeper skin tone in me and that's something that she has trouble with when it comes to powders. Anyway, back to the packaging. You have this absolutely gorgeous, I'm not even sure, some sort of metal packaging. I mean, if I had a makeup case full of this and I tried to travel with it, it would be probably like 55 pounds. Pounds. Not that I'm against it because it's absolutely gorgeous, but it is just a weighty sort of compact. There's no mirror to it, although the packaging is sort of mirrored itself. So I guess if you're really in a cinch, you could actually use it as a mirror. And the cap actually slides open and then you have this absolutely gorgeous imprinted powder that is just, I mean, it's beautiful. I really have been wanting to try their products and I felt like this was a great product to start with because I think that the natural world does creams really well, but I am curious to find really good powder formulas that don't include things like talc. This one does mention that although there's no actual like talc talc in it, there is talc listed as an ingredient because it occurs naturally in some of the other minerals that are in there. So that's important to say there are different types of talc. I know some people are against talc and it can be complicated, but I think you should do your own research because certain types of talc are very different than other types and this is a type that I'm 
I'm totally fine with. On that note, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Kira Weiss because your website is incredible. I found out so much information on their website about this product, about other products, just about ingredients in general, and they make everything 100% transparent, which I think is amazing. When you're paying this hefty price tag, you're not only paying for hopefully a great product, beautiful packaging, but at the very least, you are supporting a company that has taken the time and spent the money to make sure that their consumer is really informed and knows what's going on and what's in their products and what to look for. And that's something that I really appreciate. Aside from their aesthetic, aside from all sort of like the hype around their products, they are genuinely trying to create a culture where we as consumers know what we're getting, know exactly what we're getting and deserve to know what we're getting. And I really, really thank them for that and really appreciate it. So you get six grams of products or 0.21 ounces, which I feel like is pretty standard. Again, this packaging is able to be replaced. This pan that's in the center actually comes out and then you just pop the new one in and that is significantly less expensive and a tiny bit more reasonable considering like we're in the natural beauty world. So it is still gonna be a little bit pricey, but $36 definitely feels very different from $58, at least to me. So I'm sure my shine has been distracting all of you because I tried to layer every single cream product that I could on top of an SPF because it is really hot outside. I'm planning to be outside today and I wanna make sure that like I'm sun protected. So my face is very shiny, so I'm really hoping that this will work. It's supposed to be a very finely milled product and it's supposed to help sort of set your makeup and also take away shine. So two things that I would really like for today because I wanna see how it works on cream products and I wanna see how it performs in like my T-zone in terms of areas where I get a little bit more oily. So I'm actually just gonna apply a tiny bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using a concealer that I know creases on me because I wanna try and put the powder on it and I wanna see if that helps at all. And I'm bringing it a little bit towards the center where I know it'll crease a little. I'm not expecting this powder to, you know, not make it crease at all, but I would like to see that it helps it not move quite as much. I don't have the brush that they recommend to use with this. I'm just using a Real Techniques brush. Their brushes look absolutely gorgeous again, but I didn't purchase one. And this is where I do wish there was a mirror because it's a little bit hard to do this. And I'm just gonna do a light sort of dusting all over and then sort of pack it in my T-zone and a little bit underneath my eyes. One thing that I like already is that it's not a super loose powder, so it is staying in the compact. And then I'm just gonna dust it all over the areas. It has a very non-offensive scent. In fact, it's barely any scent, which I really appreciate. It just smells sort of like clean and a little bit powdery, if that makes sense. I think I just inhaled some. That's okay, this is natural beauty, it's fine. Okay, so that's sort of a light dusting. I avoided the areas that I wanna leave sort of dewy, so sort of on my cheeks. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a slightly heavier hand, and I'm gonna set sort of the sides of my nose around my mouth where I have a little bit more concealer my forehead T-zone area, and then underneath my eyes, so with a slightly heavier hand. It's hard to see if I'm picking up any product because it is so finely milled, and it's white, and the bristles on top of this are white, so I'm hoping that I have a decent amount of product here. I think you can see that that immediately took away a lot of shine. I definitely cannot see that on my skin, which is great. I'm gonna go on the sides of my nose now. Again, that was very mattifying. So far, I'm very impressed. So first impressions, I mean, I love that it just immediately took down the shine in the areas that I really packed it on. Um, the rest of my face does feel pretty set. It was feeling like a little bit slippery before I put it on. So it does feel a lot more set in place. And I sort of have this now like very velvety finish instead of such a dewy finish. I like that it's not like a stark matte, but then when I look towards to where I packed it on a lot more, that's where I start to see it really, really mattifying. It feels very lightweight. It's not settling into any sort of fine lines. For my skin tone, it didn't show up. It is very much a translucent powder. Again, I don't know how it would perform on deeper skin tones. They did mention that you shouldn't apply too much if you have a deeper skin tone, which I worry about sort of that like ashiness happening. But on my skin tone, it is totally translucent. Really, really like the formula. It feels very lightweight, it feels very soft, and like I said, I like sort of the velvety look that it gave my skin by just a very simple 
sweep and then I appreciate how I can build it up and actually get more of a matte coverage. So I am dog sitting, I am working, I am running errands today. So <laughs> it's sort of like a miscellaneous day, but what I'm gonna do is try and check in like one or two more times and then let you guys know at the end how well it lasted and then sort of a check-in point what's going on. But I will be outside a lot today, so this is a great day to test it because it's supposed to be so warm. Yeah, so I'm excited to see, but right now, thumbs up, definitely a great powder and definitely definitely feels better than other powders that I've tried. Not as heavy, not settling into any fine lines, and just really, really like the finish that it's giving me. So I will see you all very soon. So it's been, okay, I put it on at 11. It's now almost four o'clock. I dog sat, I was just walking outside <laughs> doing errands, and I'm officially melting. My toes are like little sausages because it is so hot outside, but I'm continually impressed by this powder. Um, I definitely, like, I'm still pretty shiny in the areas that I didn't put it on. The areas that I really mattified are holding up really well. The, like, light dusting, I think it's holding up pretty well. I definitely see, like, a little bit of shine coming through. But as far as, like, the sides of my nose, they look pretty good. The center of my forehead, you can see, like, a tiny little bit of shine right there. Um, but for the most part, it's holding up really well. Didn't feel heavy. So I'm gonna keep wearing it throughout the day for probably like a few more hours until I take off my makeup tonight and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But so far I'm giving it like a thumbs up because I think it's held up pretty well. It's so hot outside, so hot. Okay, I will see you soon, bye. I thought I would do the final check-in. It is a little bit later than I had anticipated because I forgot to do it earlier. It's about 10 o'clock now so been on for about 11 hours ish around then and I'm just super impressed I think that it's definitely worth the price point if it works for your skin tone this is a great powder it lasted me pretty much all day especially in the areas that I packed it on I did notice that in dry areas it clung to it a little bit but I feel like that's sort of to be expected with powder so if you have super dry skin this probably won't work for you probably don't need a powder anyway but if you have like normal to oily skin this is a great option it also really worked underneath my eyes to keep the concealer in place which I was super impressed with so yeah overall it gets two thumbs up from me I think it is pricey but I think it's worth the price if you're looking for a good powder and on top of that I just really appreciate Kira Weiss as a brand they are doing great things and I really appreciate their website their transparency so I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you're thinking about getting this product now you know sort of my thoughts on it and what I think I definitely want to try more of their products because so far I'm very impressed so hopefully I'll get to do that for you in the future soon and yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe for two videos a week and I will see you all very soon bye